Hello, 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 everyone. Happy Tuesday. I hope you guys are having a fantastic Tuesday. We are so excited to be here live with you all over here on the YouTube channel because we are back in our series of amazing DIY decor. We cannot wait to share with you guys exactly how to make all of these amazing projects. Today on the live show, we are creating some adorable felt trees. I cannot wait to share with you guys exactly how to make these felt trees. They are so, so adorable. I think they're going to look great in your home decor this holiday season with whatever colors you may be looking for. So as you guys are tuning in, share with us where you're visiting from. Let us know what you've got going on in your neck of the woods. And I'm going to share this over on Facebook. Come and craft with us. Yay! Um, and then I'm going to share this over in our member-only group for all of our members. Welcome, welcome, welcome. We are so, so excited to have each and every one of you guys here today. Blake is over here Hello, helping everyone. us today. Rachel is still um, with her mom, and she came through really well. So thank you guys so much for the prayers for her. But guys, we are so excited to work with felt today. Not only are we making these adorable little trees and we have so many tips and tricks for you guys, but you are also going to absolutely love the tips and tricks for cutting felt with the Cricut. And guess what I totally forgot about guys. I forgot that you need the rotary blade right before we went live. I totally forgot about that. So I'm going to grab us that rotary blade here um, really quick. Let's see who has ran away with my my rotary blade. Me and Becca was making some projects and she took my rotary blade out, Blake. Where has she put it? No, it has I have been no a idea. Morning. It has been. We have been doing so many amazing crafts. I'm going to text upstairs, upstairs? and see where is our rotary blade. Let me just Where's run up there. Where's the rotary blade? I cannot believe it. But guys, I did get a special package just in the nick of time for today's project. I got an order of felt from Benzi Felt. Um, they have so many great things. It's called Benzi Design. They're out of Chicago, um, right outside in Illinois. And I absolutely love, love, love their amazing felt. It is so good. Cannot believe that we put it over there. I didn't even think about it. Thank you, dear. <laughs> we got it. Um, here is this rotary blade, guys. Wow. We love it. If you have a Cricut Maker, you want to make sure to take good care of your rotary blade because if this ever breaks, anything ever happens to it, you are going to um, have to buy a whole new machine because they do not sell the rotary blade housing separately. So um, Glenda says, Tanner, is it in your Cricut storage in the Maker? It was not in here. We had it in a little organizer where we have all our blades that I totally forgot. We kind of halfway use it. Um, but it is so, so good. So, yes, Blake, who all is tuning in with us? How is everyone doing? Hello, everyone. Debbie says hi from snowy Michigan. It is <gasps> snowy here. It today. is snowy. We should have went live outside, guys. We would have had to stay warm with some hot chocolate. Um, but we love it. So, yes, we are super, Go super excited. Go check out excited. Tanner's Instagram story. <laughs> Blake <laughs> took a pool float and went right down the hill. That's it was great. a time and a half, guys. But yes, as you all are tuning in, share with us where you're visiting from. I am so excited for these trees because you are going to have so much fun making these for your home. They're super easy. And if you have a Cricut Maker, you can do this. Now, if you do not have a Cricut Maker, you can still make this project using felt. Um, but here's what I'm going to recommend you guys do. You can use paper, mat board, or paper thin Cricut felt. Use the shop Cricut link down below. You, um, grab some paper thin felt. You're going to love it because it can cut with a fine point blade. Anything, anything, anything you guys ever see us cut with the fine point blade in a maker, in an explorer, anything like that, you guys know you can do it with your explorer. So any cut file you see us use the fine point blade with, all of the artwork at Maker's Gonna Learn will work in your Explore machine and everything like that. Now, if you guys are tuning in and you're like, oh my gosh, I need to get a membership, feel free to use the coupon code FLASH30 for $30 off your year Maker's Gonna Learn membership. Now guys, I do have a question for you. I have a big question. Our YouTube family is so loyal. What would you guys think if we were to do some Black Friday sale sneak peeks happening only on the YouTube channel 
maybe next Monday oh to give gosh. you guys a little sneak wow. peek or two um, and give you guys the additional savings because there are some uh, urgency that is created when we have some of these sales. So I think we should be able to give our YouTube friends first dibs at some of these amazing that can, savings. That would be that would be something. I think so. I think so. So There's yes. There's some awesome ones. I um, love it. What questions Francie do we said, have? Francie said, is there a way to use the rotary blade in the air too? Miss Francie, there is not. So the rotary blade and all of the adaptive tools work only in the ex exclusive adaptive tool system that the Cricut Maker brings to the industry. So you can use a um, deep cut blade and things like that. Anything to do with this housing. So yes. Maria says, how stiff is the felt? So here's what I wanted to talk about. Why I love the Maker is you can go ahead and cut really cheap felt. So Blake, will you give me that second camera? Sure. First of all, I wanna talk about my amazing little package I got today. Look at this packaging. All of you, oh, everybody wants the sneaks. Everybody Ooh. wants the deals first. Then I, I don't love know. it. Maybe we shouldn't, maybe it should be. Maybe a... we shouldn't. Rachel's not here, so we can make plans. I was gonna say, what would Rachel say? I know, what would Rachel say, guys? She's not here, so we don't, we don't know, um, but yes. But anywho, here is what we've got. So new year coming. If you've never checked out Benzie Designs, I've met her before, so I do know her. <laughs> I've not spoke to her in years, but she is like the queen of felt. So she is the place to go for any felt projects. Me and Leah Griffith talk about her all the time because I believe she uses her felt. And you know if Leah swears by the felt, it's good felt. Blake, you know how oh, yeah. good Leah is. Leah is great. Leah's great. Me and her besties. So anyway, let's open this up. I ordered this felt because I could not find a green. That is the perfect color. This is so adorable. I love this felt. And you guys know I'm doing this for you to be able to touch felt. I get cold chills touching felt and just have like all kinds of like issues with touching felt. But I really love this project. That's how passionate. Anyway, I ordered this today. Um, well, I ordered it last week. It came today. But what I love about the rotary blade is you can use whatever felt you want to cut in your Cricut Maker. So these are just those really inexpensive sheets. Look how cheap, like 33 wow. cents a sheet. Wow, that's... I know! Hobby Lobby, 9 by 12 you're going to be able to pick these up and this cut it. This is a fun it. little affordable project. This is such an affordable project. Day. We went out in our yard and got the twig for this project, guys. So for you guys real? can do the same. Yes, you know, Blake, we are not paying for twigs when we got them in the backyard. That's true. What, why, we can't, why? we don't got that budget. We don't got that. So Nature really, provides. Amen. So the really, the only things you're going to have to pay for, your felt sheet pieces. You're going to need your hot glue gun. You're going to need two different types of wood. So you can get these at the craft store. They're super, super fun and really awesome. Maybe in your backyard. Maybe <laughs> you can find some of these in your backyard too. I have no idea whatsoever. But then we're going to look at maybe adding this type of piece to it and we're going to secure these together. Then we're going to drill a hole for our little twig to sit in. And then we're going to be able to cut this out and build us an amazing felt Christmas tree. Because guys, these are going on the mantle. So you guys wanna be able to make these. And look at how adorable. You can just get a close just up. Just wait till you guys see. Oh my gosh, Blake rings. has been fluffing the tree. The we tree. have been trying different lots. We are all hands on Who deck else here. Who the tree out? That would be fun. I know. I mean, Francie said she needs to get the maker. You do. If you do not have a maker, you definitely need to put that on the Christmas list this year. They're so much fun. And I just love the texture that these trees bring to the table. But Blake, how many friends do we have hanging out with we us? We have 157 friends. I love it. Well, happy Tuesday, everyone. So much fun. So much fun. But yeah, so this is what we're going to make today. How many of us have worked with hot glue? If you want to give us back to that main camera. Um, how many of our friends have worked with hot glue before? Let us know in the comment worked with hot glue, worked with felt. I mean, I was, say, I was thinking of my amazing hot glue gun. Guys, after unboxing our amazing hot glue gun from my friend Lynn Lilly, we have it on the show. It's my first um, wireless hot glue that gun. That is so, so cool. I just I've never so... seen anything like that. I know. I love it. Lynn, if you're watching, we're so appreciative of you as well. Um, so thanks for sending it. But yeah, it just sits on the table. It plugs in. You'll have two to four minutes, I think, of work time, and it's a hot temp mini hot glue gun. So we're so excited to feature that on the show today as well. So lots of fun. Let's go ahead and get started with, um, while we get this started to cut, we are going to be able to kind of prep our project. So really, we've got to cut out these trees. Now, what I love about the rotary blade is it's going to be able to cut these out perfectly, and we're going to cut about four on one sheet. So you're going to get almost a full tree 
uncut and it's gonna be so so good so it's a lot of fun and it's so good i agree i agree um but yes what so, brand of the hot glue gun so this is the lynn lily hot glue gun by Surebonder. you guys want to get this color it comes with the stand it's a mini hot glue gun but the size is really large it just uses um the mini sticks in the hot glue gun so that's something nice to know and it is a lot a lot of fun paula what, said oh sorry go ahead okay Paul said, what blades do you suggest I buy in addition to the blades that come with the new, with the maker? That's a great question, Paula. I would recommend getting, um, for sure, the engraving tool. I love that. Um, I love the knife blade, but it is a very interesting blade. It does not work as perfect as the rotary blade or the fine point blade. So just be weary of that. You may have some um, not as well like crafts. So you do want to um, be very careful. I see some people commenting that felt is how they found the channel. So yeah, hallelujah. Really cool. We're so glad you found us through all the things of felt um, that I sacrificed for you guys. Maria said, have you ever used uh, like Gorilla Glue to glue the felt on? So Maria, I would only be, I would use DAP. Um, I have this one glue from DAP that's really good and it's instant. It's very like super glue-ish. You could totally do that. Hot glue for this project is probably my top pick just because you do have some working time with it so you can make sure it's perfect. With some of these other glues, it's very instantaneous and you have to be very precise. This gives you some like flexibility and a lot of fun. So I'm just super excited to make these because they're so adorable. But yes, so anyway, if you guys are excited, we are going to jump into it and share the screen and jump into Cricut Design Space to make these amazing felt treats. It's gonna be a lot of fun. Yay, I'm gonna grab my keyboard. Do, 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 do. All righty, guys. Here we are. We are in the Christmas section of Makers Gonna Learn, and it is so, so good that we are gonna be able to just go over here and we're just gonna search for tree, just like so. And we have quite a bit of different tree files that you're going to be able to work with on today's project. Now today I'm actually going to download the tree silverware holder. So it's right here. This is the tree silverware holder in the top right, um, uh, excuse me, the top right hand corner is the tree silverware. You're going to just be able to click on this right here and it's going to download. So then after that, you can go over to Cricut Design Space and we are working on a little, this is our project from yesterday. So we're just gonna click cancel and press yes. Ooh, sneak peek. Blake, this is what we made yesterday. <laughs> oh, oh yeah. <laughs> yeah, see our fa la 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 la. If you guys haven't checked out that project, definitely check it out, it's amazing. Um, but now that we're on our Cricut Canvas, we're just gonna press upload and we're going to click upload image and we're going to click the 21 and as you can see here it just pops up so as it pops up right there um, you guys will not be able to actually see that on your screen blake could you put the other screen share on which one the, um the other one the nomad yes oh. the the other one so i believe they'll be able to see Yes. Uh -huh. Now you guys can see our downloads folder. Yay. Yay. Sorry about that. Um, so what we're going to do is we're going to click on our tree silverware zip file. Let that unzip. And then when you click on the file, you're going to be able to see two files. Every single Maker's Gonna Learn image comes with two for the most part. Our print and cut files have just PNG. But for this, you have the PNG and SVG. So this right here, we're going to drag and drop this right here. And then we are going to be able to name it. But we're going to be happy just like so. So now we're going to select it and press insert image. Everyone's really wanting a link for the awesome <gasps> Lynn Lilly's amazing hot glue gun. Well, let me look for this amazing link let me find it real quick um so it is surebonder.com slash lynn lily so can i have can, where can you put my mouse over there and i'll top it in a comment for everybody sure. do, 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 do. Wait, wait, which one this one. oh perfect yeah just drop it and i'll top it in so um i see that we have a question so we've got www.surebonder.com slash 
Lynn Lilly. So yay. Megan and, uh, said, are we going to be seeing any engraving videos soon? That's a great question, dear. We have um, some amazing videos coming in our Cricut Pro 2 course. So if you love, love, love that, be sure to um, get registered for our Pro 2. There will be an amazing deal at Black Friday. So stay tuned for that. And that link does not work. So I'm going to top that one more time www.surebonder.com slash Lynn Lily. Yay! I think that one will link. Her hot glue gun is $19.99 and it is so, so good. <gasps> Glenda says, last day of the Cricut, buy three, get three free, buy anything in the materials and accessories, excluding infusible ink. Put three things in your car and next three are free. Her subtotal was $270 and she only paid $130. I love that, guys. So we love feel a good free. Deal. Yes, feel free to use the shop Cricut link down below to help support the channel and take advantage of this um, buy three, get three free deal. We love that. Mm -hmm. mm -mm -mm. But as I was saying to Miss Megan, so Megan, we do have some amazing advanced pro uh, projects like that coming to our Pro 2 program. There'll be some great deals to get in on that. Um, during Black Friday if you haven't already taken a pro class with us. So stay tuned for that. Um, but yes, so anywho, guys, we have our cut fall here. And it is so, so good. And we're really, really excited. And Glenda says today is the last day. I love it. And the classes are good forever. And you can take them um, as soon, whenever you have time. So you do have lifetime access to that. So that's lovely. But okay, guys, here is our amazing silverware. So this is a traditional cut fall we have with the idea of using it the holidays to slide your silverware in between this right here. So it actually cuts it and you slide the silverware through it. But what we're going to do today is it's going to be um, really awesome and we're going to do two different, really three different things to it. First of all, we do not need this lower tree. So we're going to hide that layer. So that's step one. Step two is we are actually going to just ungroup and this layer right here, we're just going to delete. So we only have this one layer. It's very important to only have one layer selected um, when you are going to contour. So now we can go ahead and contour and we're going to contour these two pieces out. So now we just have the tree. And if you're thinking about it, guys, if you're going to cut this in map board, you want to leave this exactly like so. Leave it just like we have it here on Design Space because you're going to want to use this base to glue to your pieces of wood. But since we do not need that today because we're using our twig that we have found and located in the, um, in the outside, outside our awesome studio, we are going to take a basic shape like a square and we're going to bring it down and we're going to line it up right like that and we're going to select both of these layers and then what we're going to be able to do is we're actually going to press slice. So we're slicing that out and now you'll be able to drag this and you'll see you have all of these extra layers. So there's three layers right here um, when you slice and you're going to select it and you're going to delete it. So now you have this one perfect tree. So now today we're going to be able to scale this down to about four inches. So we're going to make one of the smaller trees just like so. And now we're going to be able to click make it. Once we click make it, you're going to be able to turn mirror on or excuse me, do not turn mirror on because we're just cutting felt. Um, thinking, we've been working with HTV today, guys, and it has been <laughs> crazy. But we're going to only need four amazing tree copies. So project copies is a great place to come to when you are kind of like, I need to make replicas of these. I need multiple copies to build a 3D project or anything like that. So it is so good. And then you can press apply. So what I'm super excited about is we should be able to drag this around, maybe be able to cut more. Look at this. Look at this. So we're going to be able to cut three there. And the piece of felt you do want to be careful about is 9 by 12 inches. So just like so, 
um, you've got nine by 12. So you've got nine by 12. So let's go be able to cut all of these. So if you wanted to, you could go ahead and cut um, five. But Rachel had a little hack to where that it cuts a perfect tree out right here in the middle of these two. Um, and it somehow just ended up cutting perfect for her an extra tree, which was kind of crazy. So anywho. Maria said, I bought the felt box course on the site, but when I clicked on it, it says I should be emailed the link. Should I email customer service or am I just doing it wrong? Oh, that is a great, great question, Miss Maria. Be sure to email hi at makersgonnalearn.com and we will get you that link. So sorry, um, but yes. So now that we have this all set up, you are gonna be able to go ahead and press continue. Oh, and actually I do want, no, I, how many do we want? Let me see. I forget if I was using five. Yeah, let's go ahead. I'm gonna go back and I'm going to cut five of these. So I'm just gonna press cancel. I'm gonna add one more project copy and let's see what will happen there. So it goes ahead and puts the fifth one on a different mat, but this is when you can click the three dots and click move to another mat and you can click the first mat and then you would drag it over and we're gonna rotate it. Yay! Super easy. So now that's all go cut on our one mat. So yay, we're gonna press continue. And we're definitely cutting my new Benzy felt, which I'm so excited about. Guys, this is like some of the best felt in the game. So what we're gonna cut it on is we're just going to go through and search for felt. And we're going to cut I believe I want to cut it on wool bonded, or no, because it's not bonded. Um, it is, ooh, there's so many different settings and they're almost all the same, but um, it is so, so good and it is a lot, a lot of fun. So I am going to cut this on, I was between wool fabric. You know what, let's go ahead and say it's bonded fabric because I think that'll give it a little bit deeper of a cut and we're gonna give more pressure because that is just how we always cut here. Um, and you may see that it says to use the fine point blade. So there are different settings you can use. I like it to automatically say to use the um, rotary blade, but we can change that really easily. So I also have cut a lot on the acrylic setting and it will automatically tell you to use the rotary blade. So this felt right here is from Benzie Designs. Um, BenzyDesigns.com. Blake, will you give me that second camera as we yes. get our mats prepared? Dun, 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 dun. So BenzyDesign.com, they have so much amazing felt and it is super, super cool. So as you guys can see, like I actually ordered this from her website, like T-Bell from Benzy.com and it's BenzyDesign.com. I'm not partnered with them or anything like that. I just know they have like the best felt in the game. The colors, I mean, are extraordinary. I was able to find the exact shade I wanted because at the craft store, guys, we were only able to find this like hideous, like, I mean, it's not hideous. It's just not jiving with what we're looking for. So this is what we had to do our test cut with. And then after I realized it, I was like, I've got to order something better. So it came today and it is super, super good. And we're really, really excited. Um, so now we're going to be able to use our awesome, awesome um, felt with our fabric grip mat. So this is what our fabric grip mat looks like after you've given it some love. <laughs> and <laughs> it's awesome. But you're going to notice it's not, it's not sticky. So we do have some tutorials on teaching you guys how to clean your mats. And you've got to follow that video very precisely. People comment all the time on that video saying it did not work, but I promise you guys, we have used this tutorial many, many times. And the thing is, you have to be very consistent with your pressure. Of course, if you apply too much pressure and it's moist and it's sat around, you can easily take off the adhesive. So you wanna go nice and light, you wanna follow the tutorial. Some other people clean their mats with just running warm soapy water and it does great. We use a few different things, so you can check out that video, it's on the channel. But today we're gonna to use a fresh mat because I do not wanna have a craft fill today. So we're gonna load this piece here. We're just gonna set it up. And I love that they're nine by 12. So it gives you, it's like they know we're cricketers. Michelle said, 
she's not sure if the question has been answered, but the PDF for the cut files shows more new files than were added. Yes. Was it a misprint or do they still have more to add? That is a great question. I saw that come through customer service as well, and I know the team is looking into that, um, and we will have that updated or those extra cut files added. I'm not exactly sure what has happened. So we will be looking into that very briefly. So now that this is um, loaded, we're go or on the mat, we're gonna be able to load it into the machine. And Blake, I do not have the Cricut cutting uh, camera there. So you can just use the main camera for this part. And while that cuts, um, you know, again, guys, if you're gonna use the rotary blade, you wanna make sure that your rotary blade is installed in clamp B and make sure you uninstall your fine point blade and use the acrylic felt setting with more pressure um, so it'll automatically know to use the rotary blade. Other blades says you can cut it um, using the fine point blade. That's what Cricut says. The cuts will not be as crisp or as clean as we are able to get them using that rotary blade. There's just no humanly possible way, but the paper thin felt would work great for this. It just does not bend as fluidly as this does. So, okay, if you're ready to go, you can press that flashing Cricut button and we're gonna be able to watch it start cutting. I cannot wait for the big reveal. It's gonna be a lot, a lot of fun. Do you think you can use baby wipes to clean your mat? I've heard people can use baby wipes to clean their mat. So feel free to try that out. I say test whatever you want and it is so, so good. Um, and it's a lot of fun. So it looks like there is an extra tree between tree one and two in the first row. Heather, yes, it should be able to just magically cut us out one. That's what happened when we were doing the test cuts and it was so good, um, but we love it. So yay, guys, we're super excited. We're in day two of our big mantle reveal. These adorable trees will be featured. I love using twigs from your backyard. We are featuring the Lynn Lily hot glue gun. We're featuring Benzie Felt. I mean, it's going to be such a good time. But again, guys, if you are not already a Makers Gonna Learn member, you need to become a member. We have so many amazing resources. Just today, we were ironing on polyester and we were like, what is the setting? And we referenced our amazing Cricut printable guide. So if you're not already a member, take full advantage and become a member today. Use the coupon code FLASH30 for $30 off your registration. Let's drop them that link. Yes, it'll Whoops. be so good. Blake, I'm sorry I had copied that Sherbonder oh, link. Doing it again. <laughs> but it is so much fun. So yay, Blake is dropping that Sherbonder link, yeah, guys. If you, you need go. it, you grab it. <laughs> um, oh, Carol says she bought the glue gun. Woohoo, Woo we love that. It um, is so good. Melba um, had a great question. She said, unrelated to this, but related to adhesive glue. Yes. Gun. I bought an ATG and I'm not smart enough to load it. Do you have oh, a video on how to load it? I oh my I goodness. I hearing something. I like love that question. So yes, we will be able to make you a video, dear. And you know what, Melva? We will have to get that very soon because you need to be able to load that um, ATG gun. So we will try to film it very soon this week, potentially. I'm going to add it to the list of things we need to do. Um, but yes, I want to have a video to teach you guys how to do it. I just showed Rachel how to do it again in person, um, I think at the beginning of this week, or excuse me, the end of last week, and it's so good. Where did we get our wooden circles? Great question, Miss Barbara. So we were able to get these at the craft store. They're just wooden slabs. And then these, I believe we got these off of Amazon, but I really like the idea. We ran out of just the wooden slabs like these to do too. So we're gonna try out what this would look like. So I think it'll look pretty good but that is why we're going to do it. This little bitty one only has one. So either way you go, it is super, super cool. And guys, the Cricut is already 60% done cutting. So that rotary blade Fast. does not waste any time. It is so, so good. Um, but yes, hello friends. Tammy says my maker's going to learn two year anniversary with Saturday. Get the membership. You won't be sorry. Thank you, Tammy. Awesome. And welcome. Happy, happy two years to you. Happy, happy. We're so excited. Guys, it is just cutting away. But yes, do we have any new cricketers in the house? Be sure to share with yeah, us um, what you are doing. It is not every day that we work with the rotary blade. So we just celebrate every day that we do. Um, and cutting felt is probably one of the best projects to be able to do with felt. So we love that. And it's just cutting away. Look at these lines. I cannot wait for the big reveal. 
How awesome. How big are you supposed to make the writing on the glitter ornaments, Melanie asked. Oh, Miss Melanie, what I love is that the best thing to do, grab a tape measure and see how many inches you have to work with. And just like we did yesterday's live stream project, we created um, a rectangle for the frame we had to work with. I would do the same thing for the ornament and whatever you know size you have, typically you have about three inches. Um, three to three inches would be pretty normal. Um, you want to keep it something somewhere below that. So um, I would always go smaller rather than larger. Um, but yes, Rachel's mom is doing very well, and we're so so excited. Um, you know, for her, we're so glad she's doing well. She's recovering. Um, she's still at the hospital, so Rachel's there with her today. But thank you guys so much for the prayers. Barbara said, "Can you buy? Can you still buy a rotary blade for the maker?" Um, I've not been able to find where to reply, buy a replacement full housing. You can re buy, purchase replacement blades. And if you guys are curious where I'm looking, I'm looking at the comments just over here, <laughs> my right hand um, side. I'm not trying. I'm actually, this is where you all are to me. Um, I'm a yearly member. Haven't downloaded the files for months just because I've been so busy. I started downloading Saturday and oh man, oh man, what was so many files and fonts. Yay! Mm -hmm. I'm glad you are getting caught up and I hope that means you are getting crafty. Am I right? Okay, Blake, let's do the big reveal. Yes. Let's give us that second camera. Woohoo! Love it. Okay, I hope this cut through well. Um, you never really know. Oh my gosh. Wow, look at that go. Look at these clean lines. And what I love about this felt is look, it's not leaving any residue. Save that one pit. Look at all those mini trees. I know. And it's not leaving any residue. No. Oh. oh my gosh. My gosh. And look, we have a little extra, we have an extra tree right here. There's that, another one on the extra excess. I know. Pulled. We could, so look, 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 look. Here, here, we're going to get crafty right up in here. We are do go, it, Tanner. Do it. Do look it, do at it. this. Just go roll with it. <gasps> Voila. Look at this. That this is, is what insane. I'm talking about. No residue. Mm -mm. Okay, guys. And what you may, if you've never worked with felt before, and this is not an ad for Benzie, I promise. I, I love her, but this is not an ad for her. It this literally the came in the mail. Yeah, right I, before, I purchased this. Like, I could show you my receipt. Like, just this is the residue from the 33 cent felt from. I mean, and it's fine felt. Like it's fine, but this felt is so much nicer. Um, and not just nicer quality, yes, but nicer colors and selection and things like that. So look at this. We're just going to be able to peel each of these up. So you will have residue left here because that's where the blade went in and cut. But honestly, guys, wow. Look at all of these. I love this. So many fun little Christmas trees. I know. We're going to look so good on the mantle. It is. That's what we've been doing all morning. Yes, Working and guys, away. you will have to stick with us so that you can see the big mantle reveal coming this Friday. So I'm going to put this back on here. You're going to tune in every single day for new projects, new crafty fun, and it's going to be so much fun. So I'm going to move this felt out of the way now that we're done felt cutting. And then as you can see here, I mean, guys, these trees just look so, so good. Diana said, wow, I cut felt and always get residue. Yeah, it, it's amazing. It normally... That felt is so cool. Right? It's so awesome. So now what we're going to do at this point, guys, is I'm going to have my Cricut Mini Easy Press, which you guys know I'm obsessed with right now. Um, and we're going to take it and fold it in half. And this is going to be a really important part of the process. So you want to fold that in half. And to, how to kind of crease it is we're going to use that mini easy press to kind of crease that. Because so this is going to create a really good crease, just like so. And then we're going to just repeat that for all the trees. Because what that's going to do is go allow us to be able to glue it a lot easier. So yes, let us know. Blake, do we have any first-time viewers? Did anyone comment when I asked? Let us know if you are a first-time viewer. I think so, but and welcome Sonya to the said, community. I have two boxes that were the same. Can you tell me what was in the October Maker box? Um, we do not have exactly everything in there. I always re we release them a month before. So what was in the October box was was it the print and cut box? I believe it. So yeah, yeah, yeah. I can't it was that. the print and cut box. So yeah, that's where you got all of your printable material. We made the Christmas cards and so much fun. So yeah, it was a great, great box. So I hope you enjoy it. If you got two of that box, wow. So we're just folding here. Carol said, did I miss the link for that yummy felt? 
Um, there is no link because I didn't even think that there is. It's just benzydesign.com, guys. B E N. Hold on, I'll tell you. Benzy. B E N Z I E design.com. Benzydesign.com if you guys need a hookup for your phone. I have to pull out just a little bit. Do, 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 do. I don't know. Benzydesign.com. Oh, well. <laughs> um, so, anyway, we're just making crafts. How many friends do we have hanging out with us, Blake? We have 181. I love it. Well, happy, happy Tuesday, everyone. So, yeah, I love being able to have these folded because that crease is going to come in super, super handy. So, just stay tuned to see exactly why. Um, but we're almost done because these trees are so nice. This is a great craft to do multiple sets for, um, and you're going to absolutely love it. I'd love to challenge you guys to kind of recreate some of these because if you're a maker scholar, remember any membership to your monthly, six month, or annual, you'll be able to get in on making these because the cut fall is just in the cut fall library. And as soon as you become a member, you can instant access to that which we, we absolutely love. So if you guys are not already a member, be consider becoming a member just for that fact because it is so, so good. Yes, we are using the maker. And Paxton said, I need to rewind. What's going on with the fail and the process? I love it. Well, Paxton, great question. We're making these adorable, adorable felt Christmas trees. So for Paxton and anyone just tuning in, these are the trees. Um, and we're about to be doing the drilling process. You can rewind and see us giving all the tips for cutting and everything like that. Um, and it is so good. And um, we're featuring the Lynn Lilly Sherbonder Hot Glue Gun Partnership. You can find that at sherbonder.com slash Lynn Lilly. And it is super fun. But if you guys are not already a Makers Learn member, just grab your membership so you can get the cut fall. We've kind of manipulated an existing cut fall, and it is so, so good. For but all of you yes. asking for that uh, sure bonder link, yes, I just yes, yes, yes. Did that again. So we've been able to fold these Lots. in half to help <laughs> us with the gluing. And then what we're going to do now is we're actually going to glue these two pieces of the wood together. So it's going to be really easy. We're just going to take our wireless. Hot glue gun, y'all, this is a great glue gun. I love this glue gun. And I've never had one with such a precision tip. Lynn, thank you. Um, and Lynn's an amazing crafter, guys, if you do not follow her already. She has a Facebook Live show called Laugh with Lynn Lily, and she's so much fun. So we're just gonna let that draw, and this is a high temp mini hot glue gun, and it is adorable. So we're gonna let that draw. And then after that draws, we're actually gonna drill a hole. So my tip is, is to get a drill bit the size of your twig. So just kind of take your twig, and again, get your twig, guys, from outside. Because we're gonna drill through it, then we're gonna add our twig, and then we're gonna add some hot glue gun in there to kind of help it. So it is so, so good, and we love, love, love it. Um, but yes, so yeah. It may have just been where we were holding stuff really close to the camera. If it, people are thinking it was blurry. Oh no. But but yeah, I think it may have just been because we were holding it. But really yes, our, it all looks good on our end. So usually if it looks okay on our end, we're, we're pretty smooth sailing. Um, nobody has been able to check Facebook. I totally forgot about our Facebook friends. If you're watching on Facebook, let us know. We are so excited to have you guys here with us. So I'm going to pop over and see how everyone over there is doing while we let that dr uh, glue dry, if I could talk. But yes, I love it, I love it. What tool are you using in the Cricut for the felt? So Miss Mandy, we are using the rotary blade. So this is our amazing rotary blade right here. We love it. Veronica is new to Makers Gonna Learn, finally caught your live show, but had to go work, yay. Well, Miss Veronica, hello, hello, hello. And we love, love, love this amazing um, tool. So hi, Amy, hi, Annette. We got the felt from, uh, Benzy design, so it just cuts really well. So anywho, um, that is glued together. And now what we're going to do is just drill through the center. Make sure not to drill through your table, guys. So you just want to drill just a little bit, and then I'm going to take the little sawdust pieces, and I'm going to put it in the trash. So just like so. So we've created just a little indention. And then you're going to want to test it with your twig. So look at... Oh, like, wow, Tanner. Wow. It's, it's like perfect. we pre-planned this. <laughs> <laughs> I love it. So now that we've got that in here, 
what we're going to do, guys, is we're going to take our Look hot glue gun. Look at precision tip. I know. This precision tip is giving me, like, a lot of motivation. So, Lynn, I'm, I mean, I don't know why I'm talking like Lynn's watching. <gasps> the precision tip can get in the hole. Oh, my gosh. So, we're just going to add a little bit of hot glue into there. You're not even going to be able to see it. And then you're going to add. What stain did you use it yesterday on the frame? Oh, we use the Jacko Bean. So we love it. We love it, love it, love it, love um, it. And it's so good. So, hi, Julie from Georgia. Hello, Megan from Australia. Got my maker one week ago. Well, welcome, welcome, welcome. Would be, uh, I would be drilling through my table. Oh, my gosh. Hello, Wilma from Nebraska. Hello, everyone. If you're new here, share with us where you're visiting from and let us know if you're brand new to Cricut so we can welcome you into our amazing Cricut family. Um, so we're going to let that dry. And then guys, now that we have our felt pieces folded, this is where the fun happens because we're going to be able to use the hot glue. And I have five pieces. So five pieces we're going to spread around our piece, just like so. And we're going to be able to kind of glue it and then, you know, kind of work around the twig. So it's going to be super, super good. What type of glue sticks are you using? We're just using the mini hot glue gun sticks um, that are from Sure Bonder, and they're going to they're go work great. So it's going to be a lot, a lot of fun. And being able to use the mini Easy Press is going to allow us to get in there really, really well. So what we're going to do is we're going to, um, I think I'm going to test out two ways. I'm going to add the glue to the piece of felt, just right here, and we're gonna kind of work with it. And then I'm gonna also add the glue to the twig and then kind of see which I prefer. So just like so, now you're gonna be able to take it and hold it. Oh my gosh, this is adorable. This is adorable. It's gonna look so good on the front. I know, I know, I know. So then you can kind of hold it here Make sure you get in there with Maria it. Maria said that she's new to the maker, and she said when you're not using the rotary blade, what blade are you using? You would be using the fine point blade. The fine point blade is what comes installed in all machines, and it is so, so good. Pull it down just a little bit. We love it. Sorry, guys, if it's not focusing perfectly. But yes, so, okay, so gluing to with the glue on the felt does really well, but now let's test it by doing the glue on the twig. It may be easier once you start it, you mm -hmm. know, you can kind of get a little more. You can know exactly where to stomp yeah. the glue. It's a little tip. Tanya said, what about doing these with cardstock? I've already made these with cardstock. That's the funny thing. Um, I have a whole tutorial on that if you are interested in doing that. It is, um, I won't say easier, it's just a different vibe. Um, it looks a little bit more cleaner cut. This looks a little bit more whimsical in my opinion, um, and it's a lot of fun. So. Either way. So now we've got two on here. And the hot glue dries really quick, guys, but you can notice you're able to build this really easily. So either way you decide to go with it. Everyone's buying the glue gun. Guys, the glue gun is everything. If you buy the glue gun, leave us a comment because um, we're super, super excited. Carol said, um, Tanner, when you use the pink fabric blade versus the rotary blade, I use cutters for quilting. Oh. When, oh, sorry. When would you use the pink fabric blade versus the rotary blade? So I would use the pink fabric blade if I was going to cut with the Explore. So if you're cutting felt, felt or fabric or things like that with your Explore, that is when you want to pull out the amazing pink um, fabric. It's kind of like the bonded fabric blade or something to that effect. That is when I would pull that out. Great question. Laura said, just got on. What have I missed? Oh, I'm making our, these well, awesome hello. Christmas trees. Yes, if you guys are just tuning in, we're building some adorable, and I mean stinking adorable, little felt Christmas trees. This is literally everything. If you are a Maker's Gonna Learn member, you're going to be able to make these, and I'm really encouraging everyone to make these to match their vibe because, guys, look at how easy. I mean, these are so super, super easy. Where did we get the little wood knobs? The little wooden bases, you can find them at the craft store or Amazon. Um, they're wooden, oh my gosh, I can't even think of what I call these. We do slabs. all kinds of things. Yeah, they're like wooden slabs. So Walnut Hollow, guys, you all know I'm, a, I'm an enabler, but I promise you guys, being a professional crafter like we are here at Makers to Learn is great because we will tell you all the best products to buy 
right out of the gate so you don't spend time wondering which to buy. Walnut, so speaking of which, Walnut Hollow has the best wooden slabs. So if you need wooden slabs, use Walnut Hollow because they're amazing. So that's where we get it's ours. It's so good. And they're the ones that are sold in the craft store too, so it makes it pretty easy. Now you could put six on here since we had folded it, but I promise you since we used the easy press to kind of flatten these out, when, once you have added your fifth one, we're going to be able to fluff this out really well. So we're going to let that dry. And our little twig's a little crooked, which makes the tree so adorable. So now I'm just going to be fluffing these out because you see they're kind of stuck to each other. It's kind of like our tree upstairs. I know. I'm like fluffing my little, my little mini felt fluffing tree. Fluffing the tree. It's a little crooked, but that's okay. <laughs> that's so funny. But yes, our little twig's a little crooked. But guys, look. That is Aww. so cool. Let me switch that camera. I love that. Yes. Yes. Let's show them standing up. I love the little tree. Guys, imagine it. You can do you can do this one, you can do this one. I'm not a big fan. I'm gonna remake this big old tree using our amazing green felt because this green is not really my color. But I mean all of these trees together, it just looks like so much fun. And again, guys, the Benzi felt does great. The Lindley hot glue gun does amazing, but what really brings this project together is you have everything you need being a Makers and Learn member because you're going to be able to get this cut file, do the few manipulations that you need to it, and be able to cut this out time and time again. The cost for this project, we used one piece of felt. So let's say that was like a dollar. We used two wooden slabs. We'll say that was like two dollars, a dollar for each slab, and then some hot glue. So for like three fifty you're able to make these adorable. And they look super put together They are too. honestly store-bought. So if you bought these at like Anthropology, if you bought this at you know any trendy store, you would be paying a ton of money for these. So this is really easy and really fun. We're not paying $10. We're not paying $10. We're not paying $15. We're paying like less than like $5 for each one. Um, and that's a very Plus most dollar. of this stuff comes in packs. Yes. You know, so the so wind you slabs you're going to get in packs. You're going to use that coupon. You're going to have hot glue. You're going to have, you know, different pieces of this. The twig is bought from the back yard. So yep. get outside, <laughs> get fun. Carolyn said you could use fun. little thread spools. Yes, you little, could. That would be so trees. adorable. That would be so cool. Please do that. Guys, I hope this inspires you to go out and make your own trees and to get crafty. We cannot wait to see what you're making, and we love it. So, yes, what size did you cut the trees? We, Tanya, we cut them at four inches. So this is a four-inch tree. This one looks... I forget if I cut this one the same. I think this is also four inches. This one's probably more about five inches, and this is probably uh, six inches. So that's kind of the size difference for our different trees. I think these are so adorable. Put these on your desk at the minimum, but you're gonna be able to see them featured on our mantle this week on Friday. It is gonna be so, so good. We cannot wait to see you guys make them yourself and for the big reveal. So again, guys, be sure to keep coming back to the channel 1.30 p.m. Eastern all week long to see how we're making all of these adorable projects. On Friday, we'll have the big reveal of the mantle. It is gonna be so, so good. I cannot wait to share with you how we've styled everything, how we profiled everything, and to be able to give you some great resources. And we have some resources that are only going to be available to our amazing members. So if you want access to those, be sure to check it out. Can you believe I do not have a hot glue gun? Michaela. Got to get one. Get one. They're one of the cheapest tools you'll ever get when crafting. And um, they so never die. Fun. Yes, go get a um, Paxton Sand, get a hot glue gun. I'm getting branches from camp this weekend. Woohoo, Laura, enjoy camp. We love it. But yes, be sure, guys, Makers going to learn $30 off. Use the coupon code FLASH30 to get your membership. As soon as you sign up, you're going to get access to our cut file library. You're going to get access to everything for the yearly membership, which is what is on sale. So feel free to use the coupon code FLASH30 to get $30 off a year membership with Makers Gonna Learn. It is going to be so, so good, and we cannot wait to see each and every one of you in the membership community. Our member of the day, because you guys know I love featuring the members of the day, and it is a lot of fun. So I'm going to pick a member of the day. Um, super, super fun, super, super fun. And we're going to just go over here. 
and pick from the Makers Can Learn member only group. And I have somebody I want to pick if I can find their project because I was literally looking at it this morning and I was like, oh my gosh. I want to find the project. Don't you hate when Facebook shows you something and won't and show it to you again? And then you'll never find it ever again. I know. They're like, no, look at all this new stuff. And I'm like, Rachel's no. Rachel's mom's doing good, everyone. Yes, she is, she is. Oh my gosh, I'm literally not going to be able to find it. No, I'm going to have to start screenshotting them as I as I am blown yeah. away. I mean, there's so many. I'm passing up so many good ones, guys. I want to showcase all of you. But I'm going to just have to pick another new one. Do, 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 do. Got to um, get in that Facebook group. There's so many. Like, how, do you, how, how am I supposed to pick only one? I have no idea. I don't know. What can we do? Okay. Um, Miss Sandy um, Lowry is our member of the day. Look at her amazing projects. Blake, let's go ahead and share um, oh. her uh, second camera. And this right here, Miss Sandy is our member of the day. She said, made these cute Christmas decor with buffalo plaid containers and Makers Gonna Learn designs. And she used printable vinyl. And the best part is, she's already sold two of them. So check this out, guys. How stinking adorable is this? We love, love, love Sandy and all of her creativity. How awesome. Oh my gosh, I cannot even believe how amazing it is. Oh my gosh, it's so good. Um, but yes, I love all of these. Look at the trees in the background, they're adorable. Oh my gosh, look at the Santa. So stinking, Those are adorable. Awesome. But yes, yeah, so Sandy's our member of the day. Thank you guys so much for sharing your projects in the member-only group. We're so excited. She's already sold two of those. So if you are a yearly member at Makers Gonna Learn, you're gonna be able to share all of the cut files and be able to use them to make money using your machine. If you guys did not know, in our year membership tier, you get access to everything. You get access to our fonts. You get access to our three courses only available to yearly members the commercial license, and so much more. It is so much fun being a yearly member because you get in on everything. You get in for the lowest rate, for the most value. It is amazing, and today you can use the coupon code FLASH30 for an additional $30 off. So we're super excited about it, and yay! Um, Karen says, can this be cut on the Explorer? So Karen, my workaround for the Explorer friends, I would use paper thin felt. You can use that to cut with the fine point blade. It cuts perfectly. Um, you can get that from Cricut. Or you can use mat board or cardstock. And Miss Gail, this is the Lynn Lilly by Sherbonder wireless mini hot glue gun. It's wireless, y'all. And you got to see how amazing it worked it's with today's so project. Cool. So we love it. So guys, I hope you all have a fantastic day. Thank you so much for getting crafty with us. How many friends were have, hanging out with us? Uh, well, we had like 190 a few minutes ago. Yes. We're down to 160 now. Love it. No biggie. But oh, thank you guys so much for hanging out with us and getting crafty. We've had so much fun building these amazing projects and making some amazing and adorable felt trees. I cannot wait to see yours. Um, so it's a lot, a lot of fun. But I hope you guys have a fantastic Tuesday and we'll see you back here real soon, okay?